Hi, good good morning. Good morning. How, how are you? you? Oh. I'm good. How are you today? I'm doing very well. So we're going to take a session on sentence correction. Yes, this will be the first session on sentence correction. We'll divide it into the parts. Okay. Because in sentence correction, we'll do grammar mm -hmm. and then the strategies. So how many sessions do you want to take in sentence correction? We'll have modifiers as one session. So I'll just write it down, modifier. Then we'll have pronouns. Pronouns, okay. And after that, uh, we'll have subject verb agreement. Subject verb agreement. And then uh, we have comparisons. Comparisons. Tenses. Tenses. And sentence construction. Sentence construction. And finally, idioms. Idioms. I've heard a lot about idioms. Yeah. And I've been told you have to memorize like loads That's of idioms right. and That's something like that. Because there are no rules for idioms. It's just that the convention of English grammar demand that a particular word be written this way. Okay. So we're going to start off with the uh, modifiers. modifiers, right? Right. So before we start modifiers, let's see what sentence correction is and uh, what do they test us on. Let's go to the next slide. Maybe let me just put it in the slide show then. Okay. So let's go to the next slide. Yeah. So we will cover three basic areas. Okay. One is basic grammar. Right. Then is sentence structure. Then idiomatic expression. This is uh, this is for complete sentence <coughs> correction. Or yes. Is for the modifiers. For complete uh, sentence correction. For complete so sentence we'll correction. So we cover all these things, uh, all these three areas. Okay. In our uh, whole set of sentence correction questions. What we have to understand is when we correct a sentence or when we see a sentence, we have to keep these three things in mind mm -hmm. that it has to be grammatically right, okay. it has to be structurally right, right, and it has to be logically right. Okay, so, so this is what you're saying mm -hmm. is logically right. Yes. Okay. So these are the three things that you'll keep in mind when you do a sentence correction question because it, it uh, major the ability to recognize an acceptable usage of the sentence standard written English. So it, it basically helps in recognizing acceptable and unacceptable uses of standard written English. That is right. This is what you have written here. Okay. Right. So let's go to the next slide. Sure. Okay. So we have 13 to 16 of 41 questions. Okay. Like we said in the earlier classes that we have 12 to 14 of critical reasoning questions. Yes. So here we have 13 to 16 of uh, sentence correction questions. And they are by far the most difficult ones in the GMAT or how, it, how does it It depends, go? but you can learn, uh, if you learn grammar, you can easily improve on sentence correction questions. So what you're saying is <coughs> that out of these 13, 16, you, that the possibility of getting all 16 right is right, very high. Yes, yes, it is very high. So this is, so this could be a good scoring uh, area very, for very anybody who's scoring, taking GMAT. Very good scoring. Okay. Okay. So we have 13 to 54 words long sentence, you have a sentence which is only 13 words long and you have a sentence which is 54 word long sentence. Okay. Sometimes you get the complete sentence which is underlined. So, okay. that, so you have 15, 54 words long sentence and the complete sentence is underlined. Okay, so understood. So what you are saying is that there might be a paragraph and you would have some underlining there and they would say that correct this. Yes, Something it like will that? be a sentence, it will not be a paragraph. So okay. most of the time it is a sentence only. One sentence one or 54 words. One sentence, okay. yes. So it is underlined, half or the complete sentence is underlined and the underlined portion of whatever is the underlined portion is similar to choice A. Okay. So that means if you find there is an error in the underlined portion, you don't have to read the choice A. Right, understood. So, and if you feel there is no error in the sentence, then your answer is choice A. Okay. Rest five answers, uh, five answer choices are different. Okay. Okay, so you have these five answer choices and as we told that it is it calls on your ability to identify and analyze sentence for clarity and proper grammar. Proper so grammar. don't forget this, that it is it has to be logically clear also. Right, so so we are again, I, as I repeat, um, <coughs> it has to be uh, grammatically correct, it has to be structurally, correct. structurally correct and logically correct. Right. And so grammar, structure, logic, logic, the GSL, okay. Right, and the question, if there's an order of difficulty. Perfect. If you do right, computer adaptive? Yeah. Okay. So let's move to the next slide. Sure. So as we said, these are the things that we cover today. Approximately 20% of all sentence correction questions have no errors. So that means in 20% of the questions, choice A is the right answer. Okay, so assuming that there are, you said how many questions? How many questions? 20. Are there? 16 to 
in 13 to 16 questions. 13 to 16 questions. So the possibility that around 3 to 4 questions will have no error. Yes. Okay. So there will be like choice A will be the answer. So oh, okay. don't be afraid to mark choice A. Mm -hmm. And for the rest of 80%, these are the errors that you can find. So these are these are set rules given by GMAC yes. or these are yes. rules over the period of time you've analyzed? No, these are the rules that GMAC does not test you beyond these 7 errors. Oh, okay. So these are modifiers, pronouns, comparisons, subject verb agreement, tenses, Tense, structure, structure, and idiom. And idiom. Structure as in sentence structure. Okay. And idiom as in the idiomatic expression. So what you're saying is that if you understand all these correctly, the possibility of getting those 16 questions right is very yes. high. Hi. Yes. Perfect. So we'll start with the modifier because modifier error is the easiest error to locate. Okay. So you're saying this is the easiest. So we'll start with modifiers. Right. Okay. So let's move. Sure. <coughs> Before we do the modifiers, let's understand some terminology. Mm -hmm. Because throughout the session, we'll say the verb, the noun, this is the subject. So you need to know what are we referring to. Okay. So if we talk about verb, which portion in the sentence or which word in the sentence is a verb? Okay. So let's understand what is a verb, what is a noun, and these are the commonly seen words in a grammar. Okay. Or any set of the uh, grammatical structure. Let's go to the next line. Let's so, do the verb first. So what you're basically saying is that uh, we have to understand all these first. Yes. Their understanding, the meaning, and the usage to be able to do the uh, sentence, sentence correctly. correctly. Right. To be able to do the grammar. To be able yes. to understand yes. the grammar. The grammar part of it. Okay. 